All right, what's happening? I'm going to show you guys how easy it can be to launch mortgage Facebook ads today. If you're a loan officer or a mortgage broker and you want to run Facebook ads, see my, my camera's being a little bit wonky. Um, I'm going to show you how simple it can be. If you're in complete LO, this is the dashboard. Everything, you can manage your ads right here from within the software. You don't have to do it inside of Facebook ads anymore. So you just click right here on manage ads. All right, I'm going to click on new campaign. Again, you know, if you need to connect your accounts, you can do all that. Pretty simple to do that. And in our case, you know, we use a lot of single property ads. So if I just click on listing and I want to run a new listing ad, I can do that right here, right? So in my case, like I said, I'm using this house in Arvada. So I saved a photo. This house was listed like a couple of days ago, five days ago. All right, so, you know, I'm just going to put all that information here, right? So it's Arvada, three bedrooms. My first feature was a big patio out back. And my second feature is uh, tons of updates, okay? Because the house basically, you know, basically it's all redone if you if you look at it. I don't know. I don't think it's a flip necessarily. I think somebody just did a whole bunch of stuff to it, right? But I'm not for sure either. Okay, so this is the house that I'm using. And so if I come over here, you know, that's what I'm doing right here. So everything, you know, you used to have to do this inside of Facebook Ads Manager and it was confusing, you have to build your own audience and do all this stuff. But we've already, we've already built all that for you. And it's real easy to connect, you know? So you just pick your daily budget. The website is going to be where you want somebody to land after they, um, after they fill out your form. Okay. So in my case, I'm going to, you know, it'd be way better to not send them to realtor.com, right? You'd be much more better served to send them to a realtor's website or something like that. But if you have to, you have to. So I'm clicking on optional info. And then right here in the location targeting, we got it. We're going to tell Facebook where to market. So I'm going to go and grab the address. And that way, the center point of our 15 mile radius is based on this property right here. Okay. So we're going to base it on that. And we're we'll coming here and add media. So I'm going to upload media. The template already has media if you want to use that. If you click on client media, it's going to show you other photos that you've already uploaded before. And then, which this is actually the house, so I'm just going to use that one. Um, oh, that's funny. Okay, so I'm just going to select that. But usually, you could just click right here on upload media, and you would just and you would just go with that. Okay. All right. Now, if you want to look at the ad text, you can. Right here, you can see exactly what it's going to look like. In my case, this house has 40 photos, so I just changed this right here to say view all 40 photos instead of like the photos. Privacy policy, you know, if you're in the Legion, you have your own privacy policy or, you know, your website probably has one. And then that's it. You just click the launch button, right? The campaign is going to be created. So let's just give that like two minutes and we'll see. So the step number one is going to be to map your lead form. So go to settings and integrations. So if you just come over here, you go down to the bottom, you come right here into integrations. You can see this is where everything is kind of, you know, connected, connected in here. Um, and right here at the top, you have this thing that says Facebook form fields mapping. So if you click on that, as your new campaigns are here, you can see this is the one that I'm doing right now. You go right here and you click on map fields and most of it's going to already be done. Name, phone number, email is already done. And if you're adding extra questions like we do, then we just have to map those things. So you select, you know, go to select field, come down here. And you can see right here, in my case, I'm using a Facebook lead. So I'm selecting that one. Are you working with a realtor? And when are you looking to move? Okay. So now I've got all those mapped, right? So I'm going to hit save on that. So that's done. You can see the green, the green check mark there. So that's, that's step number one. Then we have to make an automation. Okay. So the automation is already done. You just have to set it up for this house. So if you go to automation, you can see you're in your workflows and you come down here into workflow templates. So in our case, we're using um, this one right here, single property workflow, since, you know, this is a single property ad. So all I'm doing is I just clone that. I call this my property address, you know, and hit create. So I've got it right here. Now I like to move it out of this like templates folder. So I just do that. So I go to move to folder. I'm just going to move it out real quick. So. So now it's up here in my top, you know, so I've got it right here. You can see it's the one that's on draft. So if I click on it, 
I can make some edits. So we already have the trigger set as a Facebook lead form, but you have to tell the automation what lead form. So if you come over here and you just add a filter, right? And you go like in which form you select it, it's probably going to be the one that's at the top. You know, uh, in my case, actually, I don't think that's the right one. Let's see. Okay, 18. Okay, let's see. Well, I'm surprised I didn't put it at the very top. Okay, 1631. All right, that's what I'm using right there. Okay. So I'm going to save the trigger. Second thing I'm going to do is assign this to a user. And then I'm going to hit publish, save. And that's pretty much it, right? The tag, the tag is already going to be added as Facebook lead, single property. So we can just save that. What up? And so, yeah, I mean, the, basically you can see like how this works. Now it's going to try to message them. And if they, depending on what they say, it's going to send them. Are you leaving? All right. I love you. Max is sick. Oh, okay. I'm telling you still have to do school, but you can still rest. Okay. And what's going to happen is, you know, if they reply to the text that they're available, it's going to try to connect you. You know, we've got all this automation already built out. Or if they don't reply, it's going to just try to message them all these many times right here, right? And this is what I was saying where there's an entire year worth of automation, you know, built out behind, you know, behind the, you know, the lead, right? Which this is what's in the important part. So we hit save and that's it, right? Everything is done. If I go into, um, if I go into my Facebook ads manager app on my phone, you know, I'll be able to see the ad that's, you know, I can see the ad that's in review right there. Just wanted to show you how we're doing ads these days, basically just using Complete LO. Uh, you can get a seven-day trial. Just visit completelo.com. If you're in the Legion, ask me in the Legion stuff, and I'll give you the Legion link because I don't think it's on the website, but Legion members get $100 off. It's a full system, right? Because the it's doing the ads. It's doing the automation. Your calendar is built in. Your tasks, your pipeline, um, all those stages, everything is built in to the software. So it's pretty it's pretty inclusive. Um, if you're using the software, we have a Facebook group. And then my brother is running once a week group call and he has availability for one-on-one uh, -on -one calls every single day to help you and make sure if you have any kind of tech questions or challenges as you're, as you're getting set up. So anyway, just want to show you, um, you know, how simple it is right now, how it, simple it can be to launch mortgage Facebook ads without having to go and build an audience and, you know, do all your targeting and do your, make sure that you have the special ad categories checked and all that stuff. Um, and then manage it there, connect it with Zapier to something else. We just have it all, just all self-contained now inside of Complete LO. So again, if you want to get a trial, check it out, completelo.com. If you're in the Legion, get the Legion link for $100 off. And otherwise, appreciate you checking us out. See you on the next one.